Did you know, investors can sometimes buy a company using debt, which they got from putting up the company's assets as collateral and in return make money. This is called a leveraged buyout and here's how we can build a LBO model. We start by building the transaction assumptions which involves doing an entry valuation and establishing the deal structure and financing requirements. In the second step we detail the sources of funds. The uses of funds must also align perfectly with the sources of the funds. The next step is to create the operating model, which we start by forecasting revenue. Then, we incorporate operating costs to calculate EBITDA. Lastly, we include changes in working capital. The fourth step is to design the debt schedule which determines the allocation of cash flows and the timeline for debt repayment. This is followed by forecasting the income statement which gives us a clear view of the company's future profitability and cash flow. The sixth step is building the balance sheet. The balance sheet reflects how the company's profitability and cash generation impact key financial elements. After this we build the cash flows statement which serves as the bridge connecting the operating model to the debt schedule. Eighth step is to model the exit assumptions and it focuses on calculating the implied valuation of the company at the time of exit. In the ninth step we calculate key outputs and metrics like IRR and key financial ratios. These metrics play a crucial role in assessing the investment's performance and offering insights. Lastly, we perform sensitivity analysis with respect to entry and exit, and ROIC and cost of debt. To sharpen your finance and business acumen, visit us at skillfine.com.